Hey there, how's it going? David in Ark here with you, and today we are back on the Trash Can Macintosh. That's right. It's got a Xeon E5 1650, 16 gigs of RAM, a 256 gig NVMe, and dual AMD Fire Pro D500 GPUs. And the last time we looked at it, uh, in Beam NG, we wanted to see, I, I tested how well Beam NG performed with this particular uh, computer. Now, one of the things that I did not do was go through various settings. So let's remind ourselves what things look like in terms of the normal settings for Beam NG Drive. And for this video, I am going to be sticking with East Coast USA as the map, just so we've got sort of a, a common denominator, right? We can, we'll, we'll, everything will be based on what we see in East Coast USA. And I will reset the vehicle at the same spot each time as we go through the different graphic settings. Now, I didn't think it would be fair to just show the screen loaded in with the vehicle. So this is what it's like loading the level for BeamNG on this old computer that, you know, at one point was probably you know, state of the art, I guess, if you ever, if anybody ever thought the trash can Mac was state of the art. I, I don't know. I guess that's probably debatable. But in any case... Here we are. You can see the FPS is in the upper left corner, and uh, I'll have that enlarged as well, which by the time you're watching this, you'll see it enlarged. But we will cruise down here in East Coast USA, and we will throw the truck into the telephone pole so that we can get a look at the damage. I also want you to look at the shadows, look at the detail of the building. And so we are going to walk through each of the different graphic settings, if you will, for these vehicles in BeamNG. So I believe uh, I can actually do this straight in the game. I don't think I have to go anywhere. So uh, we're on normal. So now I'm going to go to low. And when I click on low, uh, you, you see it appears nothing is happening, uh, but it is. It's actually adjusting all the settings. It's just taking it a while for it to accomplish that goal, as it were. So once we're back in here, I can get back out of all of this. And now you see this is what the game looks like in the low settings. Part of the reason why I'm wanting to do this and why I'm showing this is because if you've got a slower computer, an older computer, you can still play BeamNG with some decent frame rates if you just dumb things down. Oh, wow, we actually got jammed in there into the seat. Again, the damage models, look at the buildings. You know, low is actually not too bad. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have shadows. And you could try enabling shadows if you want to. Uh, but, you know, the thing about this is you can start at a low point and then slowly add things back in uh, to see, you know, kind of how it performs for you, if it's okay for what you're wanting to do, if you're enjoying playing the game with those particular settings. So, um, I don't know, to me, that it's one of the, the fun features of this. Uh, this time, cutting through the grass. I am slip sliding all over the place. There we go. Look at that. Oh, 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 let's avoid the trees. Okay. Uh, by the way, I'm having to use a keyboard, so it's been a while since I've played with a keyboard, so that's uh, part of the problem. But, as we can see, you know, the game still functions halfway decently on low. I mean, much better frame rate for, for sure. And the graphics, I mean, they're not obviously, you know, cutting edge, but by the same token, they're also not too shabby. So, let's again jump into the options, and this time we are going to go into the absolute lowest settings that is available for the game. So we'll come over here and we'll click on lowest. And again, 
We wait for it to do its thing, even though it doesn't look like it's doing anything. So if you do have an older, slower computer, you want to make sure that when you click on any of these settings, just let the computer do its thing. Just hang out a minute because it's going to take it a little bit to catch up with what is going on. And so we see right here in the lowest settings, uh, it's pretty rough. I mean, this is, yes, it's, it's BeamNG, uh, but it is also... You know, bare knuckles, bare minimum. As we cruise here, once again, sending the truck down the road. You can see the textures and stuff coming in the closer you get. So that is definitely part of that lowest setting. But you see, you know, it, it doesn't look too awful. I mean, it's, <laughs> I guess, you know, it's uh, definitely uh, giving me some old school graphic vibes here. But uh, by the same token... Now here, I think it's very interesting as you watch like the trees kind of fade in. You see the grass sort of, the ground textures coming in. There's really no grass to speak of because the grass has been turned off, which makes driving through here a whole lot easier. That's for sure. There you go. So that is the lowest setting. Again, you know, check the FPS, see what's going on. On there, it is definitely much more playable than we saw when I earlier did it normal and in the original video where we first talked about this trash can Mac that uh, you know it, it was performing very very badly and and right wrong indifferent folks you know gave me a little guff about the fact that uh, it, it was you know was it quote playable at the settings that I had so. One thing is, uh, as I mentioned before, you can go back through the settings themselves and you can enable, disable, increase, you know, the different settings depending on what you want to see happen uh, with the game itself. I am curious to see what happens if we now go the other direction and let's check out what happens when we bump into the high settings for BeamNG, and it's, it's going to look good. The question is, are we going to be able to go anywhere? Can we do anything? Let's find out. All right, reset this thing. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is, this is a bit rough. Come on, here we go. Wow. Oh my yeah, this is this is very painful. Um, it the frame rates are painful. The fact that it re-enabled motion blur on this very slow computer is also hard to watch. But we will hurdle ourselves down to the road, slam into the light pole. But uh, you know, you have to ultimately decide: Do you want? you know, super great looking graphics. And I'm going to use that term kind of loosely, but do you want the much better graphics or do you want performance? And if you've got an older, slower computer, you know, those are definitely the factors that you have to weigh and decide if you want BeamNG, if you're going to play BeamNG, how do you want to play BeamNG Drive? And as we cruise once again through the field, we can see all the grass blades we've got little shrubs trees whoa this is so hard to control very hard to control doing it this way oh oh well man this i'm i feel like i'm on ice i am slip sliding all, <clears throat> all over the place let me get back on the road here and we whoa 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 Oh, it's so hard to control. My my reaction time is way off because the frame rate is so low and it's almost laggy. Well, I mean, it's definitely laggy. Let's just put it out there. Um, and so it, it's, it's very hard to judge uh, where I'm turning, how I'm turning, what we've got going on. So would I recommend playing high? Absolutely not. Is it playable? from a technical standpoint oops <laughs> that's, that's not what i meant to do at all but technically speaking you can play bmng on this 
older, slower computer in the high settings. So, you know, there is that. Uh, if we go back into the options, maybe, <laughs> let's see if we can get there. Uh, it's having a hard time and I can't tell if it's actually been clicked, not clicked. Okay, here we go. Now we've got the options. All right. So that was high. We looked at normal before low. I mean, to me, I think low is a good place to hang out on an older computer again start out with low and then you know work your way back up so once again we've got this bad boy put into low i am not testing ultra there is no way uh, that i'm going to subject any of us to ultra on this computer we can already tell it is not going to be happy so uh, you know again we've got low we can drive through, you still get the physics damage, you still get uh, the feeling of BeamNG, if not the total experience, it, it's still decent gameplay. I mean, you know, we, we you can't complain too badly. So what I'm going to do now is let's jump into a couple of scenarios, and I'm going to see if, uh, let's see, one of the things that I want to do in a scenario is let's see what having multiple vehicles will do in low setting mode as we experiment a little bit more with BeamNG. So let me get that scenario loaded up and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. East Coast Chase 1. That's right. We are going to take our old school vehicle and hunt down a bad guy. And this, <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is still the low setting, um, and, but I, I will tell you, it, it's definitely a little slower than when we had no other vehicles on the screen. We've got the bad guy driving around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, well, that is not good. Pretty sure he's going to get away because get closer listen i'm trying to get closer i can barely play this on a good day let alone slow computer but anyhow there you go that's one of the scenarios let's jump into another one this is one of my favorite scenarios the delivery truck takedown and uh, if you've not played bmng or you've not seen my videos on this before you will learn very quickly why it is one of my all-time favorite because I'm just going to spoiler alert uh, you win every time all right well I guess not every time technically you could uh, wreck yourself out or do something stupid uh, where you don't catch the bad guy but you'll see here um, well unless I can stop him here which I've, I've never been able to do one of the one of my it's one of my goals one of my goals on this oh okay uh, I can't see where I'm going there we go come on no 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 so he is going to go no matter what. He is not stopping. He is not stopping. I would love to be able to... Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. He can't get too far away. Oh, tree. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. See, this is definitely playable. A couple of vehicles on the screen at the same time. Sure, the, the settings are, are lower than, you know, you might prefer. But they're still not bad. I mean, it's still a playable game. You still have fun with it. We're still rocking through this scenario. Uh, but um, I just I, I, I play this particular scenario hoping that I'm going to coax him into that guardrail. However, as you see, uh, the truck, the delivery truck, always barrels straight across the road and into the trees. Or if it, and I'll tell you this, if it doesn't do it, I've never seen it. I've never, in all the times I've played this, it has always gone right here. So there you go. All right. So we're, we're going to try another scenario with even more vehicles. All right. Here we are in West Coast. At least I think this is on the West Coast. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is West Coast. Uh, this is one of the race scenarios. Uh, sorry, off the top of my head, I can't remember which one I picked. 
Uh, I just typed in race in the scenario search and away we went. So again, low settings. This time we've got our vehicle plus three more. And this bad boy is running pretty fine. I mean, I'm certainly not going to complain uh, about the reaction time, uh, about the frame rate. I mean, you know, are, are we talking, you know, 60 plus frames per second? No. Is it playable? Absolutely. Even with four vehicles on the screen at the same time. So there you go. I just thought it'd be fun to fire up the old trash can Mac. Uh, by the way, just to let you know, and I should have said this at the beginning, uh, but I'm running Windows 10 on the trash can Mac uh, through boot camp. So it boots into Windows 10 and, uh, you know, of course, running Steam, the whole nine yards and installed the game running in Windows. It's not running on a Mac. It's just running on that hardware. So there you go. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Special thanks to all the folks who support the channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Oh, hey, and thank you so much for watching, especially if you stuck it out through all of this mess. I certainly appreciate it. I'm David and Ark. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.